Today, I'm going to be showing you everything that you need to know to get started using Microsoft Whiteboard right away. Let's jump in. Now, there are several ways to access Microsoft Whiteboard, but I think one of the most common is within Teams because it is a really powerful tool for collaborating and sharing ideas and everybody on your team being able to get on the same page. And it works very much like an in-person whiteboard, the old fashioned whiteboards where you would jot down ideas and brainstorm in conference rooms. Now we can do this virtually all within Microsoft whiteboards, appropriately named. Now I will say you will need a business account in order to access Microsoft whiteboard within Teams. You can still use it on its own in a personal account, but obviously you have to have a business account. So that would either be through your company or if you have your own company, it would need to be a business account and not a personal account. So we're in our Microsoft Teams account here and we're just gonna go over to our, our team, in my case is Moonward Media, and then below that I just have the general channel. Now once you click on that, you'll see up here in the top, in order to add whiteboard, you just wanna click on this plus sign here and it gives you a bunch of different apps that you can add. And in most cases, it'll be suggested to you up here on the top. If you don't see it up here, you can always search for it. But right now it is right there. And it is a one of those that's used a lot, so it'll probably pop up. And then you just wanna name your whiteboard. In my case, I'm gonna call this brainstorming. Okay, then you click save. Now with all your tabs across the top here, in this specific channel, you also have the brainstorming whiteboard. And you can add as many whiteboards as you want, but I'm just gonna have one for brainstorming. So now anybody else that is part of that channel will be able to see that whiteboard. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about how to use this, and then I'll show you some other ways that you can access the whiteboard. So across the bottom, you have several different tools that you can pick from. And one of the most common is gonna be the pen or the marker. You can click on that and it'll give you different sizes. So you can adjust how thick or how thin your marker is or how transparent. You can select different colors, whatever you want there. And once you have that the way that you want it, then you just draw on the screen. I'm just using my mouse, but if you have a pen tool, you can use that as well. Then right next to that, you have some other colored pens. So you can add a red pen, or you have like a blue pen here. And then you also have a highlighter. So you can just take this and go, oh, I wanna I highlight these ideas. And then you also have a laser pointer, which more comes in handy if you're presenting ideas on the board that you could just use your mouse pulling it across. And this is just me dragging my mouse. I'm not clicking any buttons. And you go, okay, here's our ideas. Come on, let's come up with some ideas and we'll list them out here. Uh, if you do press and hold your mouse, it'll create a line and then it goes away. So you can just circle an idea and then it fades away. So again, that's more for presenting. Then you have an eraser tool. So you can go, all right, let's get rid of these ideas here, there. And the faster you drag your mouse, the bigger the, the, the circle gets. And then you also have a ruler tool. So if you select the ruler and you select the marker, you, then you can drag that along there and it creates a straight edge just like that. And just by spinning your mouse wheel, you can get different angles and do it that way. So that's how that works. Now you also have an undo button. So if you don't want those, you can just delete them out that way. And then you can toggle that ruler on and off. All right, you get some ideas that you're listing out here. There's a lasso tool and you could take and just drag that over just like that and highlight that piece and then we could click that product too and move it over here. And let's say now we want to list out more ideas for product two. And you can bullet point those out, you know, one, two, three, four, you know. So you can move things around that way. Now you could highlight this whole thing just like this and go, maybe we just want to move that down here or we want it to be smaller and we can put it back up there. Now you also have this hand tool. So what this does is it basically, if you click on the screen and move it, now you can 
move over to another side or move below there. Because this whiteboard, what the great thing about this whiteboard versus a physical whiteboard is its infinite size. I mean, you can really just continue to scroll over or down and continue adding on it and it can just grow as, as large as you want that to be. Now, the one that I use a lot is probably this post-it note section. And I really like this because I do this a lot for brainstorming in a physical space where we'll just put a post-it note on the page and now you can type in there and you can go some great ideas like this. Maybe I, I do blue and then now we can move those around. You, you can make those different sizes. You can add another one right next to there. You can do all these, these functions just like that. So that's a great way to get a lot of great ideas up on there quickly. Then you also have these emojis, which are nice. So you could just heart and be like, I like that idea. I have a question about that one. So you could do these quick fire. And again, this works great when you're in a collaborative space, which you're where you're all using the same thing. And you can just add those on the screen really quickly. You can also add comments. So you could just click this little comment button and post here. And you can mention somebody that's on your team. Now we have a conversation specifically on that post-it note or that element of the whiteboard that now we can interact with. And if I'm the recipient, I'll get a notification saying, oh, somebody wants to ask me something about something on the whiteboard. And then of course you just have regular text. So you could just create a text if you don't wanna draw on the screen and do it that way and change the, the color, all the same functions just that way. So now this exists and every time you log in, it saves automatically, it's saved on the cloud. We open it back up and it's exactly the way we left it. Or if somebody else has made changes or added to it, then they can see that as well. And then over here, you have a zoom in and zoom out option. So again, you can zoom way out, keep adding to this, and it's just one giant whiteboard, which is really great. You can also use your wheel on your mouse to zoom in to different parts. The other big use of this is if you're on a Teams call and you can share your screen and share this with people and you can collaborate in real time. So I'm just gonna open up a call up here and let's just call it meeting in general. Let's go join now. You set up a call, whether this be your, your one-off meeting or, or your regular recurring meeting or it's a specific brainstorming meeting. And now we wanna work on, on a whiteboard together and add ideas. Well, we're just gonna go up to share, how you would normally share your screen. And instead of clicking a screen, what you wanna do is go down to whiteboard. And it gives you a couple options. You can either do a template which are sort of pre-laid out ideas uh, for brainstorming or problem solving. So they have a lot of different options that sort of get you started in a certain way. So let's say we're doing a brainstorming session and we'll just click on using this template. And so you just pick where you want that to be on the screen. You click go and we got that. And there you go. Now we're gonna zoom in here now, everybody that's on the call will see this in real time. This is on their screen. You could see the, the preview monitors here of everybody that's participating in the call. And again, you could do the post-it note idea like I was saying. Let's say I'm orange and I go, yeah, I've got this idea and I want it to be launch a new product, right? And again, we can zoom in and see that. Now, what's great about this versus just sharing your screen is everybody is looking at the same whiteboard, but they can interact with it differently. Meaning maybe I want to zoom real far in and I want to add all my ideas and flesh out these ideas. Meanwhile, somebody else could be zoomed way out and be over on this side of the document and just focus here. And we don't have to be looking at the same thing, but it's still adding to the same whiteboard. And with that, you're up and running on whiteboard and accessing wherever you need to be and collaborating with your team in a very efficient way. I hope you found this video helpful and I'll see you in the next one.